Good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in with us here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick, Colorado, which is about 30 minutes north of Denver, right here on the I-25 Frontage Road. My name is Michaela Geis. What I have behind me today is a 2024 Cimarron North Star. It is a three-horse gooseneck, but it's got a closet tack on it with a front dressing room. Very unique setup, very usable setup, very popular setup. So I'm really excited to show this one to you guys. I haven't done one of these in a while. so. Before I run you through it, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about Cimarron trailers and then this floor plan specifically. So working with the Cimarron here, we are a 100% full aluminum construction build here. With a brand new 2024, you're gonna get an eight year structure warranty and a three year hitch to bumper warranty. That is from your purchase date. So not from the date of the trailer, but from when the day you drive it home, the day you sign your paperwork, that's when, you, that's when your warranties start. With this Cimarron trailer, you're getting a very high quality, very durable construction. You're gonna have the strongest upright posts on the market. And then they're really unique flooring. I really like it. I've been to the factory, seen it in person, guys. It is a V-truss support system underneath this floor. And these V-trusses are placed every four inches. So very close centers there. Um, gives me lots of peace of mind, lots of confidence loading my horse on a Cimarron. Just thinking about my horse's hoof, it's probably about five to six inches long, depending on how long it's been since he got trimmed, right guys? So with that size hoof, anytime he places a foot on that floor, he's standing on a floor support. So very good feature of Sim Runs, very popular. Lots of quality construction, and again, peace of mind. And then one thing we'll see once we get through this trailer, you guys can see it in person, is the roof. They do this fiberglass honeycomb center material which is the roof it is an insulating factor but it's also dent resistant up to a baseball size hill so really cool features on these Cimarron's this trailer here is a three horse but with your closet tack in your front dressing room it ends up being kind of the floor length of almost a four horse so you're ending up at 20 feet on the floor with this guy standard width at 610 standard height at 71 but let's go ahead and check out the trailer here in person guys So starting here at your dressing room, your short wall on this back wall here is gonna be five feet, eight inches. So you actually have a lot of space around this corner here, which we'll see once we get into it. But really unique, just having it separated from your tack. Works really well, guys, if you're someone who wants to maybe use this for horse shows, use it for rodeos, use it for maybe a little bit of light camping, maybe hunters, you're taking this up in the mountains, you throw your tack and all your equipment in one bay there, and then you need to spend some time up in here whether you're changing clothes between an event or a class, or you're up at a trailhead, you got extra clothes with you, you're spending a night camping with your horses, this is a really great space for that. So getting up into there, you're gonna get your fold down step. Really nice feature there. You are gonna have a sliding bus window on your door, but you're also gonna have your windows up in your nose for some ventilation as well. So let's go ahead and step in here and check it out. You're gonna get your rubber floor mat here, but then the rest of it is gonna be carpeted. So your nose and your drop wall are both carpeted. So if you were gonna spend some time up in here, again, we got those windows for ventilation. You got your carpet on your nose here. You can easily throw a bed roll up in here, throw a smaller size mattress up in here, just throw some sleeping bags up in here. It's a great space to just spend a little bit of time if you need to. You do have one OptiBright LED light up there at the head of the trailer, up in that nose, giving you some visibility up in this space if you were spending the night in there or using it for storage and you just need to see what you got going on up in there. On our drop wall here, we have a boot box. It's about a half width boot box. It is fully carpeted as well. The lid does open up, gives you lots of extra storage space in here. So maybe you are traveling, you need to throw your duffel bags in here. Maybe you need to throw your bedding in here, your sheets, your sleeping bags, your pillows. This will work really great for all that stuff to kind of get it tucked out of the way, keep it clean, keep it dry. And then this actually doubles as a step up into your nose. Behind me, we have another OptiBright LED light on your short wall here. So lots of visibility inside of this space here. And then on our partition wall, back in this little corner space here, you've got a shelf with a clothes bar under it. So your shelf is gonna have a two inch lip on it. Inside of that shelf, you have some rubber matting. Works great to just keep things stuck in there. And then that lip doesn't allow them to slide off of there. Another great storage space for hat cans. They fit in there really well. And then hanging space for clothes. So if you are changing in between classes, bring in extra shirts to your rodeo, anything like that, anything that needs to hang, you do have the ability to hang clothes hangers there. 
And then below that, you have kind of this empty space here. Again, just storage here, floor storage. You could actually stack in some Rubbermaid tubs there really well. Some people actually will kind of outfit their own shelving unit in here. Um, that's always a possibility, but Rubbermaid tubs will work right there. Just lots of usable, versatile space in here. And then up on this partition wall, you do have bridle hooks as well. So if you run out of your hanging space on your clothes bar, or if you need to hang something else, maybe you do throw some extra bridles up here if you need to. Show halters, if you're trying to keep those a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer, I know they got some silver on them, some nice leather. Keep those away from the rest of your tack. You hang those up here. This is a fully carpeted wall, you guys. So you're checking out that carpet there. Really nice to have all of this space in here carpeted, keep everything clean. And then as we step out, there actually is a third OptiBrite LED light in there. So talk about visibility up here in this front dressing room. It definitely is gonna have it. So your closet tag here, you are still gonna have your standard 42 inch door over here. So you still have that really big door. We did go ahead and delete that window there and fully carpet this door. So actually your entire closet tack is lined and insulated and carpeted. So it's gonna be a really great storage space for your tack. Keep it really nice and clean, kind of prevent those really big temperature swings. Just that's never good for your leather. So just kind of protects it. I do really like just keeping everything fully carpeted. I think makes everything last longer and it's really great for your equipment too that you're storing in here. We still did do our swing out blanket bar right here on the door. I've got it on a hold back right now so I can swing that out with one hand. It's on your gas shock. So it will kind of help you swing it out and then it will help you swing it in and then it's gonna want to stay there. So when you are driving down the road, it doesn't have to, doesn't think about swinging open on you. Below that, you are still gonna get your brush tray on this one. My favorite size brush trays ever are these Cimarron's, really great space in there. You do have your three different compartments there. So it works really well if you're, if you're like me and you kind of like to keep things separated. I've got like all my spray bottles in one of them. I've got rubber bands and brushes in another. And then I've got my poultices and other uh, rubber bands, like my main and tail bands and another one. So it's able to keep everything separated and organized. But when we deleted this window, I know we always talk about this window for ventilation. What we did to make up for that window deletion is we actually added a two-way roof vent up into the roof of your closet tack here. So you are still gonna get your ventilation by using this right here. Just go ahead and push it open forward, be drawing that air in here, kind of get your air circulating throughout. And then when you are driving down the road and you do have your door shut, your pads will be right here. So it will be able to pull that air off of those as well. So that's kind of how we made up for that ventilation there. On your right hand wall up here, you have a set of bridle hooks. Again, fully carpeted behind, so you are protecting your wall there as well as your tack. You do have your three saddle tier right here on a like a recessed post up into this wall. These are still fully adjustable and they can be removed. There actually is a spot, uh, doesn't look like it's at the bottom, but it's for sure at the top where you can pull these out of there. Or if you wanted to add another one, we could add another one. I think there's plenty of space to do that. But again, you're just loosening bolts, sliding these up and down wherever you want to place them and then tightening them up. These are my favorite saddle racks. I tell customers all the time when they come look at these trailers. I had a customer probably about two weeks ago that came and traded in a pretty older trailer, different brand for one of these. And they said their biggest problem with that trailer was the saddle racks. Their saddles would not stay on there no matter what. They were really excited to see these saddle racks in their new Cimarron, seeing the carpet, knowing their saddles were gonna stick and then learning about what this wither block is and what it's gonna do to keep their saddles on there by sitting up in that gullet and just preventing any sway back and forth. So I know that was a big selling point for them. They're gonna have additional rows of bridle hooks over here. So you can never have too much hanging space. I know me personally, each horse is gonna have five to 10 different bridles. So, and we're talking about halters, nose bands, all that good stuff plenty of hanging space in here. If you were concerned about that, I'm sure we could look at finding another support down in here and adding a second row if that's possible. Talk to our shop about that. And then over here, you're still gonna get your 25 gallon water tank on a stand, it comes with the hose. You fill it up at the top and then you got your spigot down here with your hose. It is a very long hose, looks like this thing actually says 10 feet. So you're gonna have plenty of hose to hook it on here 
run it out your door. With 10 feet, I could very easily see that being a great option to rinse your horses off after a rodeo. I know one year I made a, a mud run on my horse and then I, I did not have this at the time. It was a different trailer and that would have been really helpful to rinse him off, get him clean before the long trailer ride home, rinse off sport boots, just protect your tack and equipment. That works great for that. And again, just keeping your horses hydrated going down the road. Never hurts to have water on board. You do have an Optibright LED light in here as well, facing inside to your tack area. So plenty of ventilation throughout this trailer. And then before we move on, I'm gonna go ahead and close this door really quick. So you guys will notice this door actually is hinged on your left-hand side. So your opening here is actually facing forward. So that would be a concern. Um, it does lock, of course, you guys, but you just never know. Things start rattling around, catches some wind here. It's gonna pop open. We did go ahead and add a paddle latch on here as well. So secondary locking feature here to ensure that this does not, nothing happens. You don't hit a big bump, this pops open, and the next thing you know, all your tacks flying out down the road. We have this secondary feature right here. And then one more thing I forgot I wanted to hit on before we move on. I do get a lot of questions on these closet tacks about accessibility to your saddles, being that it's on a recess post and not a swing out. So everyone's asking me, well, how much space is there? Can I load my saddles without having to step up onto this? step they want to be able to do it from the ground you know they don't want to work that's why everyone likes the swing outs because they can just walk up throw their saddle on there and not have to climb in and out with the saddle right so we do have to set them back in there just a little bit because we have to account for our pads when we close the door so they are back in there a little bit one thing i tell people is fold your step up once your door is open and it's on that hold back you don't got to worry about it right fold your step up that's going to give you a good eight to ten inches getting even closer in here and then your saddles are right here so you can see less than an arm length away they are right here it's going to be very easy now that your step is up to just grab your saddle off your hip and just throw it right on there and not have to climb in and out so it is possible guys working our way backwards here we do have a 16 inch Optibrite awning light, LED light over our windows here, as well as our tie rings. We do have these sliding bus windows on the hip side for this trailer. They are oversized, they are huge bus windows. So you're get, still gonna get plenty of ventilation even though it's just a 50% there once you swing those open. Combine that with your roof vents, your insulated roof and your drops on your head side, it's gonna be plenty of ventilation and airflow through this trailer, not a concern. You do have three tie rings on this side because you got a three slant trailer. My one thing I guess I would say is just the placement. Buying this trailer, maybe talk to our shop before you take it home, see about adding another tie ring right here. Just something I've noticed showing this trailer to you guys this morning when you do have your tack room door open, it's gonna cover this tie ring. So let's talk to our shop before you guys take it home. Let's see about getting another tie ring right there. But then that's gonna give you the ability Tie all your horses on one side and still access your tack room. This trailer is a white sheeted trailer. To add a little bit of pop on this one, we went ahead and upgraded to those black spoke aluminum wheels. I love the black spoke and adding just that little bit of color pop. I think they look really sharp. They really stand out. And then these ones are actually gonna be on 6,000 pound rubber torsion axles because we did add some floor length to this trailer when we did that whole dressing room closet tack setup. We went ahead and upgraded from those 5200s to the 6,000 pounds. So a little bit of upgrade on our axles there, accounting for that floor length. And then green valve stem covers indicating these are nitrogen filled tires. I personally have been struggling with that on my truck right now, not necessarily my trailer because unfortunately that doesn't go anywhere right now. My horse is at the vet for quite some time, but on my personal truck, they're not filled with nitrogen. and every morning i come out and they look pretty low get driving down the road they heat up the air pressure rises it fills back up by the time i get here they're filled again that's just a little bit concerning seeing how much they're fluctuating just on my personal truck nitrogen is great in that it does not fluctuate it's going to maintain your psi you don't have to worry about that heating up and filling up what that is doing for you is reducing your risk of a blowout so i can see 
the results personally here on the lot and with my vehicles, that is a great option. Don't be worried though, if you do run low, get a flat, something like that, you can fill them with air. Don't worry about that, fill them with air, get back home, get to a tire shop, fill them back up with nitrogen. We'll go ahead and step around to our loading space. So we've been optioning all of our inventory trailers with these 60-40 doors. So you will notice this one here is gonna be your 60%. This one here is gonna be your 40%. Your 60 is going to have standard comes with a bus window on it. So even more ventilation there having that window. And then your 40% here is great if you did consider adding a folding rear tack. I know you already have a closet tack on this one. So maybe you don't even need it for the tack space. Maybe you need it to act as a broom closet. I had one customer do that where they added the folding rear wall. They did not add a saddle post in it. They just added the wall. So they ended up having that space for pitchforks, brooms, muck tubs, hay, grain, anything like that, water buckets, that ended up being a great storage space for them. And then you have that 40% door right there that's gonna close that off and still leave you 60% to load and unload, which is plenty of room. You get a butt strap on this one. Just an added safety feature there if you did have, if your third horse was one that kind of anticipated wanting to get out of the trailer as soon as those doors open that butt strap is just going to kind of hold him in there keep him safe until you can get in there and untie him or unclip him this trailer does not have a ramp on it it is currently a step up trailer we can i believe we try and keep some ramps in stock so we can go ahead and add those for you if you did need to want to do an upgrade on this trail you can add a ramp personal preference mine is currently a step up but i may add one in the future just know that is an option one upgrade that we have done on this one is those padded dividers. Mine does not have padded dividers. Probably next summer I will be adding those just for comfortability when your horse is, maybe you're bouncing, he's bouncing between the dividers in traffic, you're stop and go traffic, you're accelerating and braking, or me right now, how I've known, how I've noted that it could be important is driving home from the vet when he's still a little bit sedated, a little bit sleepy, he's leaning on these dividers. Just give him that extra padding, keep him comfortable. This trailer is upgraded to one inch longer than standard to allow this divider to open and lay flat against the wall. Mine is ordered that way as well and I love it. So that way if you did not use your 40% door and didn't have the rear tack, only used your 60%, which is what I do, mine step in and out just fine. You can swing this all the way open with that door closed, not have to worry about any interference there. And another upgrade that some customers will do is they will have our shop add some D-rings and some two-way clips, those two-way snaps. And that way you could clip them all open and then travel down the road with an open stock space if need be. Your front divider is gonna be a stud wall on this one as well. We do that when we have an access door up there just to give you guys some versatility if you needed to use that front stall as storage you have that wall to the ground there but again adding a d-ring and then a two-way clip here something our shop does all the time then you could have and you could run this like this traveling down the road if you needed to haul like a mare in a foal if you added a ramp and needed to haul a side-by-side -side or a atv anything like that that space works really well for that I talked about earlier, guys, our inflated roof on these Cimarron's. This is what it looks like on the inside. It looks like the same on the top as well. So you're gonna see that white material. It is honeycomb center fiberglass type material. It is extremely dent resistant up to a baseball size hail. You guys can go ahead and climb up, um, climb up there, jump up and down. Nothing's gonna happen. It's also keeping it 20 degrees warmer in the winter, 20 degrees cooler in the summer. So really can't beat that for your horses, keeping them comfortable. And then up there over each stall, you also have that two-way roof vent. Same as what we saw in our closet tack. So you can push it open forward, be pulling that air in, push it open backwards, be drawing that air out, get a really good airflow through here if you did need to leave all those windows up. We are getting two OptiBright LEDs in here as well, giving you lots of visibility inside and outside throughout this trailer. And then we'll take a look in our back stall here where it's a little bit closer for you guys. Each stall has three D-rings in it already. So mine has that as well. I, you, that's what I did. I went to any ranch supply store, went in there and found those corner feeders. Weaver, Professional's Choice, they both make them. It's a standard size, so it will fit. And then you have the option if you did want to feed them going down the road. If you don't have mangers, 
can clip those in, but then you can also take them out if you need to. Each stall also has two tie rings. That is, I, I love that. That's very important to me. I think that is really nice. If you did want to tie your horse on one, and then, so what I do, if you don't use your corner feeder, you could tie a hay net, tie a hay bag up here, and then use this one to tie your horse, or if you use trailer ties, which I do, tie a piece of twine here, clip your trailer tie on there, clip it to your horse's halter. Now he can eat here or he can eat there. Versatility, just lots of great options with these Cimarron's. So that's kind of what we got going on in here, guys. Really loaded lots of options on this one, but still lots of options you can do if you're looking to do that. You do have your eight inch awning light up there over your 60% door for that visibility there, getting them stepped up into that trailer. So we'll go ahead and step around to our head side now. So very similar setup on this side. You're gonna have your 16 inch Optibrite awning LED light over your tie rings here. These tie rings are shifted back on this side. You do have three on this side because you could tie up on both sides if you need to. But then this side has your drop down windows versus your sliding bust windows on your hip side. These are really nice oversized huge windows on here. They do drop down and then they will kind of clip into place there. They are meant to be driven down the road like this if you needed more airflow. This is not gonna catch any air and pull up on you. It is very secure in there. If you did need to drop down your jail bars, you can do that as well. These are really nice jail bars that, in the fact that they are all one piece and you don't have to, there's no moving mechanics on those jail bars. All you have to do is lift up your window, get it through the groove there, and then drop those down. Gives you huge space right there to be able to check on your horses if you are filling those corner feeders, filling hay nets, offering them some water, whatever you need to do. And then before you get going down the road, of course, put your jail bars back up. And then your windows are meant to slam shut. They are a slam latch. I just like to tell people when you do slam them shut, make sure you're adding all of your force right there at that latch. If you did not need to drop down your windows for ventilation, like these warnings right now, it's pretty chilly. You do have the siding bus window on there as well. And then your escape door, same as your closet tack. You are getting two latches on this one as well. The purpose on this one though is not necessarily for the airflow because your door is hinged this direction. It's because you have a horse on the other side of this door. So they could potentially mess with this when they're in there and open it. So we just have that secondary locking feature right there just to make sure that doesn't happen. Got your chest bar here. If you did have a horse in here, now they can't jump out when you open the door. It does. Ooh, can be a little bit stuck on me. You can't get it right now, but it does have D-rings on there for your corner feeder. But then also this is the space I was talking about for storage. It does have that stud wall on it, so you don't have to worry about anything sliding down and getting under your horse's feet. You don't have a hay rack or a rear tack on this one at all, so this space is great if you do need to take some hay on the road with you, take some grain, and then again, Rubbermaid storage tubs, I, I have mine filled with those, just carrying their extra blankets around, their magnet sheets, their wraps, all that good stuff. I have my first aid kit in here as well. Just anything that you don't want up in those nice carpeted tack rooms that you got up front, this space works really well for that. So on our Cimarron's, we do go ahead and upgrade our drop wall on these ones to 53 inches. The standard is actually 50 inches, so we are increasing this about three inches right here. So you are losing three inches of space in your nose right here. If you guys look back in your video, you notice there was still plenty of space up in there to use that to, as a sleeping area if you need to. Still have plenty of head clearance in there. So it doesn't really take away that much that it's a noticeable difference, but what it does out here for you is it gives you more clearance on those bed rails. Those newer trucks, the beds keep getting higher and higher, taller and taller. So just taking out those couple inches right there is giving you way more clearance down here, gets you off those bed rails, gets you off your tailgate and still allows this trailer to ride level going down the road. So really nice feature is having that increased drop wall for 
four by four clearance. This one here just has a standard manual crank jack. That is an upgrade we can do here is add an electric jack. With that electric jack package, you are also gonna get an aluminum battery box with a battery inside of it and then a battery disconnect switch. I did that on my trailer for the convenience of the electric jack use, but also for the convenience of being able to run your lights on your trailer without being plugged into a truck. So right now I am plugged into my battery pack, simulating that I was plugged into a truck. Without being plugged into a truck, you cannot run your lights on this trailer because there's no power source. So adding that electric jack package gives you the battery, gives you the ability to have that visibility without being plugged in. So I really like that feature. We have already located the spare tire up here, giving you the space to add the electric jack. Also get your spare tire up off of that road spray right there. Keeps it a little bit cleaner. It's a little bit easier to get to now. It is a matching spare tire, same quality, same rim, same everything. So if you do need to swap it out, it will look the same. If you choose to use this tire and rotate it through your tire rotation program, it's going to look the same. It's going to ride the same. It is the same tire. And then one more thing I always like to point out. I know it's very, it seems minuscule, guys, but your seven pin plug actually does have a hook up here it connects to, and then it actually sits down into this little keeper down there. I think that's really important for storage purposes when you do unhook, get that seven pin tucked away inside of there, keeps it from getting moisture in there and just protects it. So whatever you can do to keep your trailer lasting longer is always a good thing. So even the little things, they just think through so well on these sim run builds. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you are getting an eight year structure warranty and three year hitch to bumper on this trailer being a brand new 2024 sim run Northstar. Again, this one is a three horse gooseneck with a front tack room and a closet tack. So if you are interested in this trailer, there's going to be a stock number right here. If you're walking our lot, you can scan the QR code. If you're watching online, scroll to the bottom of the website in the right hand corner. You're going to type in 5N231395. It will take you to the web page. You can see this drawing on our website. You can also see all the photos of this trailer. If you have any more questions or if you want to see the actual spec sheet if you want the drawing sent to you so you can zoom in on it give me a call shoot me a text send me an email my contact info is on your screen it's michaela geis 303-918-6367 that's my personal cell phone so text if you need to and then michaela appeared geis at transwest.com i look forward to helping you guys out enjoy the rest of this beautiful thursday have a great weekend and we'll see you guys next week